The Natural Language Processing Group of the Department of Information and Communication Technologies of the APF is one of the groups of the Center for Autonomous Systems and Neurorobotics, whose main objective is the creation of cutting-edge technologies in the area of cognitive autonomous systems. We're a team of about 15 researchers and PhD students, and we're working in a number of areas of computational linguistic and natural language processing, including text summarization and simplification, text generation, syntactic parsing, computational lexicology, uh, opinion analysis and sentiment analysis, and prosody intonation modeling in the context of speech analysis and generation. Uh, one of my lines of research is uh, text uh, summarization and we develop techniques in order to identify in one document or several documents the most important content in order to create a summary. We have developed a tool called SAMA which can be used to create different text summarization systems and we use it in combination with the GATE infrastructure for natural language engineering. Uh, another line of research is automatic text simplification where we uh, investigate um, uh, methods in order to transform a text into a text which is uh, easier to read and understand uh, by a particular user. And in the context of the Simplex project, we have developed the first text simplification system for the Spanish language. And this system has been integrated in a web portal that where you can um, input your text and you will obtain a simplified version of it. In a similar line of research, Luz Relio in our group is developing techniques in order to make text more accessible uh, to people with dyslexia. Text generation has the same main objective as text simplification, namely the generation of native comprehensible discourse, only that we start from abstract knowledge uh, representations. We address all tasks of uh, text generation, that is the selection of the content, which is to be communicated to the reader, determination of the discourse structure, and linguistic generation. In all three tasks, we are working on robust large coverage solutions, which are based on machine learning. In the case of computational lexicology, we focus on collocation, that is, lexical idiosyncrasies of the type give a speech, take a walk, thunderous applause, etc. So one of the principal applications in this area is uh, development of technologies for uh, com uh, computer-assisted learning of Spanish as second language. So we are working on the recognition and correction of collocation errors, provision of collocations uh, in use, etc. Prosody, which is conveyed through three elements, intonation, rhythm and stress, is very important in our speech communication. Uh, one of the main applications is speech synthesis, which is the uh, generation of a speech from a text. Uh, if we take into account prosody, the, the resulting message will be much more natural. In turn, what we do is to generate speech from scratch. Uh, that is, we don't generate the speech from a text as it is done uh, usually, but it is usually done, but we generate um, this text at the same time that we generate prosody. Thus, we maintain the relation between the uh, communicative structure of the text and prosody, and we don't treat them as uh, separately, but as a whole. Um, first, we record native speakers then we extract prosody uh, with uh, what we call Toby labels. Then we annotate the uh, information structure of the text. And then we present the both elements as a package, which will be the input of a speech syn synthesizer. In the field of syntactic parsing, we focus our research on dependency parsing, which is the syntactic analysis of natural language based on dependencies. We work in the implementation of different parsing algorithms and automatic feature selection methods. On a daily basis, we carry out several experiments by internally modifying the workflow and behavior of current transition-based and graph-based dependency parsing algorithms with the intention of enhancing the performance, providing new output structures, and speeding up the training and parsing processes. We are also working in a data-driven transducer for diff different representations of natural language towards syntactic parsing and natural language generation. In the TAL group, we also have an ongoing work on, pat on the patent domain. Every year, there are more and more patent fields and the companies have difficulties to cope with all this information. Patents are legal and technical documents and the standard tools for natural language processing have difficulties to cope with this information. On the town group, 
we adapt the natural language processing tools to the patent and legal domain by highlighting the most important parts of the patent and summarizing its contents. This helps the users to quickly understand what is being invented in the patent.